Hello, I am back again here for another video. So, in this one, I want to talk about the future past Tom Brady. I've been hearing a lot about, a lot, of, I, just, I saw something today, a few times, it wasn't just one post, it was actually a couple posts from a few Patriots fan pages and just a regular football fan page, um, stating that the best thing for the Patriots to do right now are to tank for Trevor Lawrence. Now, I understand where they're coming from. You know, the, the normal NFL team, when your franchise guy of 20 years is leaving, maybe it's time to have a couple bad years so you can build your team up to championship level again. But I think there's a few factors that a lot of people forget about the Patriots that are really important in thinking about the future. And I wrote an article about this. Um, titled, Will the Patriots Dynasty Continue Past Tom Brady's Retirement? And I uh, wrote it and posted it on Discuss the Game. It's a free app on the App Store. Um, you can check out my account. It's the same as my YouTube username and my Instagram username, Your Patriots. Um, but yeah, just go check it out if you can. But I'm kind of going to highlight some of the main points in that article. So three things have remained the same throughout the Patriots dynasty throughout the last 20 years. And that has been Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and Robert Kraft, right? Um, Tom's been here since, oh, since he was drafted in 2000, but since he played in the 01 season. Um, Kraft has been here since longer than that. Belichick's been here since about that time. So I think to answer this question, the question of, you know, Will the Patriots continue to win after Tom Brady retires? I think the more important question should be that everybody should be asking is how much longer Bill Belichick is going to stay. Because people are sitting here saying, oh, Patriots dynasty is over because Tom Brady isn't as good. He isn't producing as much anymore. Um, he isn't having MVP seasons, even though he literally had an MVP season two years ago. I don't know. Um... This season, he honestly wasn't terrible when you consider the talent he had around him. I won't get into that now. Um, but my point is, the Patriots, the majority of the credit has to go to Bill Belichick. Tom Brady is not a super physically gifted quarterback. He can't escape the pocket super well. He isn't super fast. He isn't super great throwing on the run. It's why you don't see him running around throwing the ball like Aaron Rodgers. Um, he can't be a dual threat quarterback. He is, though. He has developed this over time. He wasn't as good at it early in his career. But he's developed a very, very good arm. He can throw it into very tight windows with a lot of accuracy. And a lot of people are saying, oh, Tom Brady's accuracy is falling off a cliff. Your accuracy does not just fall off a cliff. The, the the thing that does fall off a cliff is your body's ability to run around, to stay cardio active. But you can throw a football well into your 60s. It's just a matter of can you still move around in the pocket. And Brady showed this season he can still move around in the pocket. You, know, you take away um, throwaways, spikes, and drops by the receivers – all of which were not Brady's fault. You take those away, and Brady has a 69.2% completion percentage this year and an over 69% completion percentage last year. It just goes to show Brady throws it away a lot because our offensive line isn't that great. And the receivers drop it a lot because we don't have very good receivers. Now, you know, it's as much on. on talking too much about Tom Brady here. I need to get back to the point of the majority of the credit goes to Bill Belichick. Tom Brady is a good quarterback. I mean, he's the best quarterback in NFL history, but we can't take credit away from Bill Belichick. We've always had a good enough defense um, in the big moments, you know, uh, of course, except Super Bowl 51. Now, I'll make a video about that someday, about what I really think happened there. Um, but that was kind of a fluke of a year. But, you know, 
the defense is there when it matters the vast majority of the time. We only allowed the Titans to score 14 points defensively. It was the offense that couldn't put it together. Um, and because Brady isn't a dual-threat quarterback, um, and if the receivers can't find separation, then you're not getting anywhere without a run gain either. You're not going to be able to get first downs, and they couldn't get first downs. And that's why they lost the game. But the the biggest thing I want to look to right now is the 2008 NFL season. Um, the, the biggest news story in the first few weeks was that Tom Brady tore his anterior cruciate ligament and was ruled out for the remainder of the season. It seemed like the Patriots could now be counted out for the Super Bowl and their star quarterback was nowhere to be found. But Matt Castle came in and started playing pretty decent. He had an over 3,000-yard year. He didn't have a ton of picks, didn't have a ton of touchdowns either, but he was good. He hadn't started in an organized football game since high school. Belichick threw him in, wasn't worried, said, you know, we're going to still have a winning season. Not a 9-7 and seven season, not a 10-6 and six season, but an 11-5 and five with Matt Castle at quarterback again. Fair Castle is a decent quarterback, but there's a reason he didn't start that. He didn't start all 16 games in an NFL season in his career. There is a reason for that. Um, the Chiefs, he had a pretty good year there, about the same as he did with the Patriots, but then he kind of fell off the radar. Um, the Castle went on to lead the team to 11 and five, and had the Patriots not missed the play, they missed the playoffs due to some mathematical. A uh, fluke thing where the Ravens and the Dolphins both had the same record but had a better conference record. Uh, it's just some weird math thing. But Patriots didn't make the playoffs that year. And if they did, if the Patriots made the playoffs and the Patriots won a Super Bowl, Brady's legacy would have been in deep trouble that day. I'm telling you, the reports would have gone crazy saying, Is Tom Brady really that good? You know, Matt Castle just won a Super Bowl on this team. Should we only look at stats now? Because obviously Tom Brady winning Super Bowls here doesn't mean anything in terms of being a good quarterback. The reporters would have had a field day with it. Because if Matt Castle can get up there under Belichick, well, heck, why why does it need to be Brady? Um, But the Patriots didn't make the playoffs. That didn't happen. Now, if they made the playoffs, who knows? You know, they could have made a Super Bowl run. That's very possible. I couldn't tell you. Um, but the point is, the Patriots won without Brady, with a backup quarterback. All they need is to get a decent starter. They don't need a Lamar Jackson. They don't need a Patrick Mahomes. All they need is a guy like Ryan Tannehill, who won't throw a ton of picks, who won't throw a ton of touchdowns, but you know he can put a drive together when it counts. That's what the Patriots need. You notice year after year, Patriots, they talk about, oh, well, they got to rebuild the team now. Well, they don't. They really don't. How long did we have Shane Vereen for? And then we went to LeGarrette Blunt, And then it was Deion Lewis. And now it's Sony Michelle. It's like we have a revolving door at almost every position on our team except the quarterback position. It was Gronk for a while, yeah. But really, other than those two, we, a lot of our players have kind of one-year wonders or a couple-year wonders, and then they sign massive contracts at other places. You know, Trey Flowers, he was a big part of the defense last year, signed away in free agency to the Lions. Big, big contract. And now you don't you don't hear too much about him. The point is, Belichick knows how to put together a winning football team. He knows that much. I can guarantee you Bill Belichick will put together a winning football team without Tom Brady. He will figure out a way. He'll put it together. He'll make something happen. They'll be a winning team. And will they be Super Bowl contenders? I don't know. We'll have to see. But what I'm trying to say is the Patriots are going to continue to win. They might not be the best team in the AFC, but you can expect a couple more Super Bowls as long as Belichick is still in there. I I don't see Belichick, you know, 
I don't I just don't see him all of a sudden being unable to do what he did in 2008. All these all this talk about the Patriots not being good anymore, even if Brady did fall off a cliff and I'm not saying he has, I don't think he has. But even if he did someday, it wouldn't matter. The Patriots can still win games without him. And that's my point is that even past the point Tom Brady retires, the Patriots are going to continue to win games. You can take that to the bank, and they will still be a threat every year in the AFC. Don't expect them to tank for anybody. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.